Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So now I'm going to give you a case where it's zero to the power of zero. So somehow you you want to try and somehow get to the fraction here. You want to get to the fraction, but you might have to stop somewhere in between. You might have to stop here first, and then from here, then somehow get to the fraction, or maybe even here. So uh, so somehow aim to get to the fraction. Okay, and and whenever you try to find the limit of a power, think about logs because if you if you natural log one let's say if you natural log this then the the, uh, the this thing here can go down if, if if you're given this case here zero over zero let's say the limit is this thing here if you natural log both sides then uh, then this zero can, can go down here well whenever you're trying to evaluate these three think about logs okay and then somehow get to uh, zero over zero infinity to infinity and then you can apply L'Hopital's rule so Here's the question. Uh, uh, find the limit of this as x tends to zero from the positive side. Okay, so press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, we're trying to find the limit of this. Let's just say the limit of this is capital L, whatever that may be. So let's just say the limit. Let's just say the limit is capital L. Now natural log equally to both sides. Uh, so if if you natural log this side, this can go down here. That's this thing here, and then you've got your natural log, natural log, and then you've got your x, you've got your x. So, so from here, natural log equally to both sides, that will then give you this. Remember, we are seeking capital L here. Later on, we will need to exponentiate, and then these two will cancel out. But we are seeking capital L here. Okay, so we are currently here at the moment. So now check, uh, check it. So here you've got one block, multiply with another block. As x, as x tends to zero, this thing here will be zero. As x tends to zero, this thing here, remember, natural log graph looks like this. As x tends to zero, it's heading towards negative infinity. But um, but but this is really, in a way, this scenario here. Uh, zero times negative infinity. It is when it comes to L'Hopital's rule, we can consider this as a case where it's zero times infinity. So zero times infinity. Here's here is a product. So so zero times infinity. That's us. That's, that's this bit here. So we started with this, and then we got to this stage here. Zero times infinity. And then once you, if you have a product, you can always rewrite it as a fraction. So our, our aim here, we are currently here at the moment. Our aim is somehow get to here, or somehow get to here. Okay, so, so we are currently at this stage here. Zero times infinity. So, hang on. So we are currently at this stage here, where we've got this scenario here. Zero, zero times infinity. So, uh, so you can imagine this as uh, well. You can always rewrite this as this. These two, um, here, here you've got one block multiplying another block. You, you can always rewrite as this. This is the same as this, but just written differently. So now try. Let's let's. We are currently here at the moment. So let's evaluate. Let's um, evaluate it now. So as x tends to zero, as x tends to zero, this thing here will. Will be uh, will be negative infinity. This thing here will be negative infinity. As x tends to zero, this thing here is going to shoot. Um, uh, well, one over x looks like this. One over x looks like this. As um, as as x tends to as x tends to zero from the right hand side, you can see from the right hand side is shooting to positive infinity. So. Uh, so, so this, when it comes to L'Hopital's rule, we, we can consider this as a case of infinity over infinity, even though there's a, a negative here. So now, now we've got a case where it's infinity over infinity. So because, because it's infinity over infinity, we can then apply L'Hopital's rule. It allows us to do that. So differentiate this. So that will then give you this. And now differentiate this. That will then give you this. So now, uh, tie, tidy up. Tidy it up. So, so you've got this fraction divided by uh, divided by this thing here, but then you times the reciprocal of this. Well, tidy up this thing here. Uh, you can you can visualize it as this, and then now it's um, now it's well tidy this whole thing up. It will become this. So now, as x tends to zero, as x as this thing tends to zero, the whole thing here will be zero. So, so the limit here, this thing here. Will be zero, but don't forget. Uh, if we want to, uh, we are seeking, we are trying to seek capital L. So, 
So from here, uh, E equally to both sides, that will then give you this, and in a way these two cancel out. So the limit is is one. Okay.